Hello again, Fishalots. Johnny Fishalot here, and I'm going to show you how to tie the PR knot using a bobbin. So first step is first, we're going to jump right into it, is you're going to run your line here. So this is going to be my braid main line through the top of the bobbin, just like that, down the pipe, just like that. Next up is you want to wedge this line into this rubber fitting right here. This way it just secures your line in place as you're tying the bobbin. Give that a little bit of, give that a little bit of oomph. Make sure it gets itself nice and wedged in there. Next up, you want to spool the drum here just like you would a fishing reel. Make sure you put plenty of line on this thing. You don't want this flying off, hitting you in the face. So, yeah, and uh, ask me how I know, by the way, right? You live and learn, but I want to pass these things on to you, Fishalots, so that I can avoid you poking your eye out with this bobbin that I'm recommending you buy. Now your bobbin is set up. Next you want to do is you want to make sure that the drag is set just right. Here's the drag knob on the bobbin. It works just like a fishing reel. You tighten it, you can loosen it. You kind of want this pretty tight. Now if you could pull on this and the line comes out, but you got to put a little bit of pressure on it just like that, that's pretty good. That's pretty much exactly what you want. All right, now we're all set up with your braid and your bobbin, and now, of course, you're gonna introduce your monofilament. So, this is gonna be 80-pound monofilament, and we're gonna connect this to 80-pound braid using the PR net. And what I'm gonna do when I introduce my monofilament is I'm gonna lay it right across, and I'm gonna create a T, just like that. And I'm going to pinch with my index finger and my thumb, or what is it, this isn't your index finger, this is what, your pointer finger, what is this? Your main finger, I don't know what it's called. But anyway, I'm gonna grab this finger right here, I, I don't think, I think this one's your index finger, right? You gotta be careful what finger I point at you guys. But, I, but you're gonna grab just, just like a pinch, you're gonna grab your thumb and your finger and you're gonna pinch the T together just like this. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the mono and I'm just gonna wrap it towards myself one time just to get it going. And now I'm gonna grab this section of line with my <laughs> index finger, I guess, or pointer finger and my thumb just like this, and I'm just gonna start wrapping it towards myself. There you go, just like that. And you want this fairly even, there we go. And there you go, so you're just gonna keep doing this just like this, and the knot is not gonna be this long, I'm just creating the runway essentially for the PR knot, if that makes sense, okay? So I'm, I'm kinda setting up the knot to go over these knots right here. Now what else I want to do is I want to make sure I have enough monofilament here where I could actually grab the line pretty good. Just like that. What's going to happen is this line is going to want to twist as I'm wrapping it with the bobbin. So I don't want that to happen. All right, so here you go. Here is the initial setup for this entire thing. So I got my bobbin set up. I got my initial wraps. I got my mono and the braid wrapped around my fingers right here. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the mono side right here and I'm going to really wrap this around my hand really hard. What's going to happen is as I start to spin this bobbin, it's going to want to twist the mono out of my hands and you want to avoid that the best you can. So if the mono starts twisting and the braid is twisting, that's line failure right there. It's not going to work out really great for anyone. So I think that's good. I got it wrapped up right here. I got it wrapped up on my fingers. Again, the knot isn't going to be this long, but I just want that runway for the line. Next, a quick trick here is you want to put your finger on the line where you're going to start to wrap the bobbin. This way the bobbin doesn't wrap outside of this runway that I created here and wrap up here. It doesn't want to go back over itself. You just want it going down this way. So a couple of things you could do there is one is you could use gravity. I'm going to tilt it this way when I start spinning. And of course, the other is I'm going to use my finger to make sure it twists up just right. So here it is. I'm going to start spinning it and I'm going to push it down the line right here. There it is. All right. So now there is, I'm just going to stop it right there. So there's the beginnings of the PR knot. It wrapped really nice over those knots and you could already see it's going to start to cinch down over this runway. I'm just going to keep calling it the runway because it's the most appropriate term for it. I'm gonna angle this down and I'm gonna keep twisting and that is going to be the PR knot. There it goes. All 
And look at that, that is nice. It's wrapped perfectly. The setup for this is absolutely essential to make sure you get the appropriate knot in there. And that is exactly what you want right there, fish lots. Now people ask a lot, how long do you make these knots? Um, honestly, I would say between six and eight inches will do you just fine. I think that's probably in that range. I don't typically uh, measure them. I just kind of have it down by now by sight. You don't have to get too crazy with it. So now we're gonna unwrap this just like this. Again, don't worry about this side of the bobbin. I'm gonna pull that line out. So now you have these wraps, right? These were our runway wraps. Go ahead and feel free to unravel them. There's no reason to have them. Now what I like to do here is secure the wraps with a simple half hitch. So here is our tag end line, here's our mono tag end line, and here's our braid main line. So I'm gonna grab the mono tag end, I'm gonna grab the braid tag line, and I'm just gonna do alternating half hitches around both the monofilament and the braid main line. So here's gonna be my first wrap. I'm gonna wrap it over. Keep that in mind. The next wrap, I'm going to go under. So I'm gonna use my teeth right here. I'm perfect. Cinch it down just like that. That's our first half hitch. And now, just like I said, I'm gonna go under. So now I'm gonna go under and over, right? These are alternating half hitches. Same thing. All right, now look at that. So now that is a great PR knot right there in the making. Now you could do as many half hitches as you like. Two is pretty good for just for the sake of it. I'm gonna do three, but two is good. I'm gonna show you now how to end this knot and it's gonna be awesome. It's a great use of our good friend, the uni knot, and it absolutely is perfect for a PR knot. So let me tighten that on my last half hitch. So now what I'm gonna do is, is gonna do a reverse uni knot or a whipping knot over the monofilament here and the braid main line. And just really simple the way you do that, you create your loop and you start wrapping the line, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're gonna take your tag end right here. So you're gonna end up with something like this. Right, those of you who are familiar with the uni knot, this is just a simple uni knot right here. And now you're gonna take your tag end and you're gonna secure it up against your PR knot right here. And now you're gonna start making wraps in the other direction. This is called a whipping knot or a reverse uni knot. So you're just gonna keep making those wraps just like that. And basically, as you wrap this, you're unwrapping the side that you just wrapped before for the uni knot. Hence the reverse uni knot or whipping knot, depending what you want to call it. So here we go. Keep on wrapping. And you're just going to keep on making those wraps until your original wraps have come undone. Just like that. So now you're left with this, this little loop, your main line, your tag end for your mono, and then your tag end for your braid right here. So now all you're gonna do is you're gonna tighten it all up. You're gonna just pull on this tag end right here. And you can see this loop is gonna tighten on down, just like that. Make sure it doesn't wrap over itself. All right, I just use my finger just to make sure it doesn't wrap. And there you go, now watch this. Now this is gonna cinch up really nice, just like that. Look at that, and that is gonna create a ramp for your PR knot to go through the guides of your hook absolutely flawlessly. This is just a really cool trick here. There we go, just tie it up just like that. And there you go, this makes it really easy for this knot to make its way through your guides as opposed to your half hitch knots, which, aren't just, which just aren't that smooth. So now your knot is basically done. What I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna cut this monofilament literally as close to the braid without cutting the braid as I possibly can. Okay, so here we go. 
there it is. Now the only thing left is our braid right here. We're gonna gotta cut that as well. And you're done. That is the PR knot fishelots. If you like learning a lot about these types of knots and how to use them, go ahead and click on this end card right here. We'll take you to a whole playlist of knot videos that I've made to really help you out when you get out there on the water. All right, fishelots, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time.